Hey guys, how are you? Coach D here, and we're back talking food prep. Now, I got a bunch of things here that I'm gonna go through with you. I know that most of you know the basics of this, but for some of you who don't know how to food prep and have never used some of these items, they're important, you gotta have them. So first and foremost, you gotta have your lunch container, okay? If you don't have a lunch container and you can't carry stuff to work and you don't have, let's say, an ice pack, where's my ice pack here? okay, to put inside your lunch container. I know it's not cool to walk around with a lunch container. You can get a smaller one than this if you like, a cooler one. Um, heck, get a Spider-Man if you want it. It's up to you. But the most important thing is you have to have something to carry your foods with. Next, when we're looking at baking items, okay, the best thing to get is one of these old school black baking trays that have a cover. Now I'll tell you why and I've had many, many arguments with my wife and I've lost many, many times. Because if you're baking something in the oven and you wanna conceal the heat, you wanna conceal the juices, you wanna conceal all that's being cooked inside, you need to have a cover for it. You can't get tin foil and wrap it, you can't cover it with another frying pan, you need to have something that can keep it locked up because one, it'll keep all the air inside it'll cook the item much faster. So if you're gonna be making roasts, if you're gonna be making potatoes in the oven, anything thick that requires a lot of time, by having a cover for it, it's gonna work much easier and taste much better for you. You're gonna to need to have some of your tin foil. What I like to do with this is I'll poke holes into yams once I've washed them. I'll wrap up the uh, tin foil with the yam. I'll either throw it in the barbecue, throw it in the oven. If I wanna put vegetables inside and I wanna put some asparagus, I'll open up my tin foil, I'll put my asparagus, I'll put some olive oil, some salt and pepper, maybe I'll, I'll put some paprika on it, I'll wrap it up and I'll throw it in the oven. Because remember, we don't have to get complicated with cooking. As long as it's wrapped and sealed and you have some flavored, some um, ingredients on it, it's gonna be well, even putting it on the barbecue, okay? Next, we're looking at wax paper. So if you're looking at using an air fryer, I know that um, we have an air fryer and it does a really, really great job. You can put this at the bottom, if you wanna bake some stuff, if you wanna put um, things in the, in the oven, you wanna bake them, you don't want them to stick to the bottom tray, having wax paper is gonna be healthy, happy for you, your wife will be happy too. And again, little baggies. I know this is gonna sound so silly, guys, that a grown man is telling you to have little baggies, but guess what? When was the last time you sat down at the kitchen while the TV was on with a glass of wine or a bottle of water, whatever you wanna have, and when was the last time you were measuring out one ounce of nuts, one ounce of nuts, one ounce of nuts, one ounce of cheese, one ounce of protein powder? When was the last time you packaged and portioned things out? Probably not in a long time. So having these are gonna be super important. Um, if you wanna be baking things in the oven at different styles and different foods, um, I don't suggest it, but if you need to, you can buy two or three of these and you can put one item in this section here in the oven, another one. Let's say you wanna put potatoes and you wanna have yams. You don't want them mixing up. You can put them both in the oven. It's really good for reheating foods, but also you can throw these away when you're done. You don't have to do a lot of dishes. This has been a staple in my household ever since my bodybuilding days and ever since I started food prep because if you're making omelets and a lot of people will complain they don't have time in the morning. If you don't got time in the morning to make breakfast, you have a time management problem. It's not a time problem, it's a time management problem. But if you were making your food in bulk, and we'll be making it later on, and let's say this whole tray was a mixture of egg yolks, egg whites, I put some garlic, some onions, some peppers, some tomatoes, all I have to do is pour it in each one of these little trays, I could bake it in the oven, and now I got myself four times three, I got myself 12 Egg McMuffin sandwiches ready to go, where I don't gotta go spend six, seven dollars at Starbucks buying them. And more importantly, you can make them for yourself so your kids can have them as snacks, you can have them as late night snacks if you want, and they taste amazing. You can also bake your ingredients and put them in here as well. Um, so that's that. Now, when it comes to uh, measuring cups, um, you can use a scale. I haven't used a scale in many, many years because I kind of know everything by eye and to make things easier, I use my hand. So like we said, protein is gonna be as thick as your palm worth in terms of protein. For a male, you can go 1.5 to two. For a female, one. Carbohydrates, one fist. Vegetables, a fist is a cup. Fats, your thumb portion. 
So once you measure out a cup of rice or a cup of pasta, you can kind of see the difference in which the average is gonna be. So you can use a tiny scale, you can use measuring cups, which are really, really easy. And I like them because when the food is pre-made, and you'll see that when I've made a bunch of rice in bulk, all I gotta do is scoop up one cup, put in my container, grab my piece of chicken, grab some nuts, my meal is created, it's very simple. You can get the small ones as well if you're gonna be mixing in different ingredients with your fields. You also wanna get yourself a timer. Why? So you can look really cool like me. Just kidding. So you can actually time how long it's gonna take you to food prep. I guarantee you, for those of you who've never tried it, an hour and 10 minutes of food prep time is pretty much all you need when you wanna begin. Because you're gonna spend the time watching TV at home on a Sunday night. Why not make some food while you're watching TV so you can have it ready to go. Now, containers, super important. I got a really, really big one here. I got a flat one over here. It doesn't matter where you buy them from. These I really like for lunch because I can load them up with as much carb as I need, protein, they're ready to go. They fit really easy in containers and they're easy to wash and dispose. These small containers I usually use for my Greek yogurt, my fruit, also, you can use them for carbohydrate sizing. Let's say a female wants to have rice or pasta at lunch. Well, I know that that's one cup worth. So for someone that wants to have pasta every day and they wanna have a cup's worth or half cup's worth, you can literally measure up your pasta. You can measure four or five of these with your tomato sauce, with your ingredients. You can have rice with your soy sauce. You can have quinoa, whatever you need. You can have them pre-made. And then when you're making a meal, you can just take two containers that have cabbage salad, regular Greek salad, piece of fish, piece of chicken, and then grab one of your rice containers for your carbohydrate. That way you can visually see how much carbs you're having and you're not sitting there with a the container and pouring it in your plate because when you come home for dinner and your blood sugars are low, you've had a hard day and you're stressed out, chances are you're gonna spill a lot more rice than you really, really need. Now next, you wanna look at getting yourself um, a rice cooker, okay? Really, really easy to make rice in a rice cooker. You just put the amount of water you need, you put the amount of ingredients you need, you let it sit there, it cooks, it's ready to go, okay? So these are pretty much the ingredients that we use when we're doing food prep. It's a staple in our household. It's something that we've been doing for many, many years. And once you get the hang of it, it's not going to be something that's going to be boring or it's going to be stressful. Because a lot of people feel that they have to do so much more work on a weekend or a weeknight to do food prep, when in reality, all it is you're doing is you're cooking your foods, you're just cooking them in bulk. That's it for this portion. I'll catch you in the next video. And we're going to start making some yummy, delicious meals. Are you ready? Let's go.